Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are finally back on the Bronco. We got our SRS module and our seatbelt back in from Safety Restore. Huge shout out to Safety Restore. They're turning these suckers around for us. We're about to pop them in and get this thing done and out of here. So let's get started. It's the first thing we need to do here. First thing you gotta do is you gotta move the seat, man. You just get, you gotta the get wrong. the seat. Unplug the battery. Yeah, that's right, go unplug it. You got me, you got me. Cold blood, or uh, red-handed. Red no, red-handed. Red-handed. You said hot. <laughs> All right, we are putting in a seatbelt. Very complicated situation. There we go. I will say this though, anytime you're using that thing, you won't follow through with the torque wrench. And then this for strength. You know, it's like politics. And then this, you wanna clip it back in right here. Just like that and put it right back in its position. There you go, look at that mate. Cold, baby. All right, now we need to pop this uh, zip toy. Go get a north. Woo. All right, so I guess we need to remove this all the way. Or design this in such a way that when you lift this, you stand this up and you have access here. I have to say, I love Ford just because of that. East little guy right here. Now that's tight, mate. All right, now so what we need to do, we need to move that seat forward between plug the battery back in real quick, and then uh, we'll tighten up that last eight millimeter down there, and then probably go stick my hand into a volcano because my hands are freezing. Too many things. I think the limit on breaking stuff is like maybe two or three. Like two or three things, it's okay. Looks like the handle works. Dang, what? What do we need to do now? We need to crank this thing up and see if that airbag light went out. Hey, good deal. No engine light, no, uh, no, no nothing light pretty much. That's good, man. That's a really good sign. The fact that that airbag light went off and there's no check engine light, that's like, that's optimum performance right there, you know? That makes me happy because this could have went one or two ways and it went the better way. <laughs> What you got there, Yuri? Quality approved. These are some fender flares. These are nice, man. I like these. Yeah. He did say something about we have to remove the original clips. All right, yeah, so as you guys can see, we have these little locks here. They basically hold these flares onto the body, simply locking them in. And we have these clips right here also. So we just need to transfer that over to that and we should be good. That's one down. Gotta do this, what, three more times? Yes, sir. All 
right, so we got the last flare on and it looks absolutely amazing. We're just going to go ahead and pop on this fender liner. Uh, we've got this side on. Yeah, we got this side on. Nate got it on. And uh, now we're going to move to the back and put on the spare tire reinforcement and then there's a brake light extender. Yeah, because we have an oversized tire now. So uh, that's going to put a lot of stress on that rear tailgate. So we need to beef it up a little bit. Here, if you guys want to uh, get the install instructions and follow along from home, just uh, go ahead and screenshot or take a picture of that QR code. And then you guys will know if I'm doing something wrong or not. All right. Step one, remove wiring. Step two, install LS engine. Step three, now you're a man. It's making me take off the entire deck lid. Remove the wire grommet, blah, blah, blah. Remove a bolts and say mark the door with tape for realignment. Place spacer under the door. Like this. Anytime you're taking bolts loose like this, especially ones that are painted, you want to tap with a hammer in there first. You want to you want it to seat real good and then plus tapping it kind of loosens everything. You see? Hammered it in that deep. Being held on there by one, one bolt. bolt. Come on, Ford. The loose and come on, Ford. I wish that were spinning. They spin. So what we need to do, we need to clean this sucker up, uh, you know, clean all the nooks and crannies of it out. And that's it, our job is done. We've got everything in the interior done. Why is the ignition on? Oh, I know why it was on. Remember I had to reset the windows. Yes, sir. Guys, if you ever have an issue with your Broncos and your windows don't uh, hide on their own, all you gotta do is Push it down all the way. Any car though. G35, anything with frameless. Anything, any, look. Any, boneless windows. If you, like, when you see, check out this window, when you pop the door, it drops down. Mustangs, G35s, you know, all the, anything with a BMWs. Frameless. Yeah, so like sometimes these will stop working because they need calibration. All you gotta do is roll it all the way down, hold it for 10, 15 seconds, roll it all the way up, hold it 10, 15 seconds, and you're done. Dude, I who's promise beating you. out there, man? Somebody's beating the trash can over there, you hear? I think well, we yeah, need This thing's looking really good. Uh, I would recommend spacers just to, you know, fill this gap, just the hair. Not only is that going to do that, but it's also gonna give it a more beefy look. It's gonna give it a wider stance, you know, so you can take them corners really hard, as hard as you can, harder than you've ever can. That's pretty much it for the Bronco. Uh, we'll get we'll get this thing detailed and call up Mike and have him come pick it up. And I think he's actually dropping something off at the same time. So that'll be something else. Uh, it's some sort of frame job, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. But. If it's yeah. a Mustang, bro, I'll, I'm gonna have to quit on the spot. Yeah, we do, not, we do not work on Mustangs anymore. We love Mustangs, we have nothing against Mustangs, but it's just, it's overdone on our channel, you know? Yeah, overdone yeah, across channels. Old Mustangs, new Mustangs, cut in half Mustangs, non-running Mustangs. And it, even Mark, Mark can't even get away from the freaking Mustangs. We're done with Mustangs. That's right. Stop bringing us Mustangs. Watch, tomorrow somebody's gonna hit me up on Instagram. Hey man, I got this car off the auction and I seen you guys, <laughs> I seen you guys do Mustangs. That's how it 
always goes. Somebody actually messaged me that with a Mustang and said, I noticed you guys are fixing a Mustang. I got one too. And I was like, all right, we'll do it. But he never came through. So thank you, Lil. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the Bronco. We actually need to weld that rim up for Jake real quick. What's going on with that? He's got a little crack in his rim and he needs... Pilot. This is the Eastwood Tungsten Grinder. This is a very handy tool right here. Very nice. It has like a little diamond blade in there that wow. spins. And then it's got these convenient little notches and you shove your tungsten in there and you just grind it. again when he hits another pothole. Now, uh, Jake, make sure when you hit potholes, hit him with this part of the other side. Yeah, try not to, try to stay off of this side because, you know, we've been welding over here. Well, all he's gotta do is put them on with that part at the top so they don't hit. Yeah, and make sure, look, don't grind anymore here. What I did right here, just, uh, just paint over that and that's it, but then on the inside, I grind, the only reason I grinded it to check to see if there's any pores. Yeah. Uh, so like, I it looks like we're good. So just surface this real good, right here. With the grinder. Yeah, just so this seats. Right. Clean that up a little bit and boom, boom, boom. And that's it. Sounds good. Do you have a little update on the engine? We have, what Nate, one week left? Yeah, maybe I don't, I don't know, a few weeks. Maybe two, May, uh, maybe, maybe three, probably four, most likely five, 100% two months. But Birdie's car got prime too, look. We never, did we ever show them Birdie's car? No, we did not. Paul has been cranking very Paul hard. Paul has been, look, check this thing out. What's the, what is this, uh, a Chevy? The Chevy Cruze. Chevy Cruze? Nah, it might be a Tahoe. 2012 Chevy Cruze. I thought this was actually like a mini Tahoe. <laughs> like a not Trailblazer. 2022 Atlas Volkswagen. Clean. Paul got the airbags installed today. What's this thing lacking right here? Uh, he got it, look, he got it in primer, and he got the two roof airbags installed. That door was skinned, quarter was replaced. But yeah, it's gonna be done soon, so Birdie, I'm sure you're gonna be happy about that. She's almost, she's almost done, he just started on it today. That's Paul for you, Paul. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes, that's right. only when he wants to. But all right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.